Hi, my name is Ellie. I'm 17 years old. I live in Oakville. I went to the Canada Wide Science Fair and my project's title is Codia. So my project is about creating an artificial intelligent assistant. It's just your controller so that you are able to control a robot that has an arm on the top and the arm is able to grab items off the floor and is able to move around through the house and give it to you. My name is Pooja Vishwanathan and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Braze Mobility and I'm also a researcher with the University of Toronto. My journey really all started uh, I was an undergrad student. I found the seminar on assistive technologies where a bunch of students were, um, had developed all these types of technologies, mainly to help people with disabilities or older adults. I realized that I, I had a calling to solve problems in accessibility. And last year we launched our products. For the first time now we have you know, products that can be added to any wheelchair that essentially turn them into smart chairs. I find the people that inspire me the most are actually my closest friends. Because a lot of my friends are huge science nerds. <laughs> they create just things just as amazing. They do experiments that are absolutely breathtaking. Back when I was in middle school or before, I wasn't that really into STEM. But then later on, as my friends got involved into STEM, as I got involved into STEM, as I read more books, I started participating in clubs. I became involved in my school's robotics team. I decided to start my school STEM club with my friend because we didn't have one. It's like a doorway. Once you open the door, everything just kind of goes. <laughs> Talk to people and go out and explore, do projects on the side, and, and that's the best way really to discover your calling. And if you still don't discover your calling, it doesn't matter. It's still just, you know, try a bunch of things and you might discover your calling somewhere along the way. As human beings, we all have our own different perspectives. We all have different thought processes. And having women in science kind of gives everything a different perspective. I think that will kind of benefit everyone.